I'm starting off by painting my nails black. Before, I would always have my nails black. Uh, I would probably paint them like every week because you know how they start to chip when you don't get the gel nails. So I used to do my nails like every week. Next, I'm doing my eyebrows. Before, you guys, I would not do anything to my eyebrows. I wouldn't even touch them. I do not know how the hell I would pull this look off before. <laughs> But I wouldn't do my eyebrows back then, so I was really, really curious to see how this look was going to turn out. At the age of 14, well, actually, no, 13, 14, and 15, maybe even 16, I would have killed to have this look back then. I did not know the little hacks, like the hair hacks, before, so <laughs> I don't know. I would have killed to have this look before. Be honest with me, you guys. How many of you went through the emo slash scene face back when you guys were teens? I'm not gonna lie. I miss it. I wish this was a thing nowadays. It was so dramatic and exaggerated. Like, everybody really, like, everybody that was into this really wanted to have that hair. And also all those bracelets. Do you guys remember all those little bracelets that we would wear back then? Like, those bead ones? I remember I used to sell them, I think, for, like, 50 cents each. <laughs> I was a bracelet queen at my school. What about you guys? <laughs> so it was funny because back in middle school, I had this best friend. And she used to let me borrow her, her Converse. My mom hated those Converse. Like, she used to let me borrow those that were, like, a, like right below the knee. I was going to say above. <laughs> they were right below the knee. But they were, they were those rocker boots, you know. Everybody was wearing those back in the day. Do you guys remember? And my mom used to get so mad. She used to tell me, Regresa esos zapatos. No son tuyos. No estás pidiendo prestado. But yet she wouldn't buy them for me. Like, I hated that about my mom back then. Also, before, I wouldn't even wear none of this foundation or concealer or anything. Honestly, you guys, the only thing I would wear would be, like, the powder. I would use a little spongy and just, like, tap some of my face. Like, but it was my mom, so it was a lot lighter than mine, than my, than my actual color. So I would just like tap on my face lightly so it looked like I had some on and I would leave to school. And my mom didn't let me wear makeup. So at school, I would be putting on my eyeliner behind her back and then some mascara sometimes. And before, by like six period, like before I left my class, I remember I used to like try to take it off. Like I would be messing with my eyelashes so my mascara would come off. And then when I would get out of class, I would go to the restroom and try to take off the eyeliner with a paper towel in the restroom. So all the shit we would do oh sorry you guys my boyfriend gave me a hot pocket <laughs> i was so excited to film this video you guys have no idea how freaking excited i was like my boyfriend and i went to claire's and i was buying little bows i was buying some little extensions and you know this idea came because i have a wig well i have a lot of wigs i love to wear wigs you guys have seen that probably on my instagram so I have a wig that was brown and I put it on the other day and like I put my hair to the side and then it kind of looked like you know that scene haircut when you like flick your hair to the side and it, it just goes on your face it kind of went like that and I was like wait a second this wouldn't look that bad so I took the wig into the restroom and I started messing with it I started cutting it and this was before we had to go to the mall my boyfriend and I before we went to Claire's so I started messing with the wig and then I was like, you know what? It's real human hair. So I was like, I'm going to dye the hair. I'm going to freaking dye it. I'm actually going to do this. I want to see what I can get done with it. So I told my boyfriend, let's go get some hair dye. We went to Walmart and all this stuff. And we got some hair dye. We got the nail polish. And then obviously I got the idea. You know what? I'm going to recreate my emo face look. Like, I'm, I'm going to do it. So we got all of that stuff. And... We came back home, and then the next day I dyed the wig, like I dyed the hair. And then, yeah, that's how all of this shit started. <laughs> so here you guys go, you guys are looking at my video. But anywho, uh, back to the tutorial, sort of. Oh, well, it's not really a tutorial. Um, more like a story time in a way. So this eyeshadow before, when my mom let me use makeup later on, when I was like 15 already, she would let me do like light stuff. I would apply eyeshadow just like this with like a flat brush. And I would just blend it out so that it looked dark. And I did a really, really shitty job, you guys. Like, this is exactly how I would apply it. That's why I'm doing it like this. So, <laughs> these are not my makeup skills. This is, like, 15-year-old me. I also thought it was so funny that back then, I didn't really care how much of a 
shitty job I did with my makeup. Like, I just wanted it to be dark and exagerado so that I look, I look more emo, <laughs> I guess. Whatever you want to call it. So I looked more dramatic. I don't know. After I applied my eyeshadow, because I always wanted that darker eye. Oh my god, you guys, I looked like I had a purple eye back then. <laughs> I would apply a pencil, pencil eyeliner over like my lash line. And I would go all around my eye. Like it wasn't just at the top or just at the bottom. Like all around. Like the darker it was, the better. Según yo, back then. Also, my bottom lash line, guys, it was never enough eyeliner i wouldn't even blend this out which was horrible like it was horrible makeup so i wouldn't even blend this out so during this video i actually did do it only because i thought it looked so bad i was like oh my god what the fuck was i thinking ah, how many of you guys did this to be honest don't be shy let me know in the comments below In the video, I only applied a light coat of mascara. Back then, I used to go so hard with it. Like, three different mascaras. You guys, did you guys ever use those colorful ones? I would use the blue one. I don't know if you guys remember those back then. I used to use the blue one, Bien Exagerada. Oh, and then the lipsticks. Oh, this, this lipsticks from Maybelline, you guys. These are so good. They don't come off. Well, they do eventually, but they take forever to come off. And they're not all sticky like usually other lipsticks are. But yeah, I used to use these bright, bright colors, like bright, like I would be wearing bright pink lipstick and like a red shirt. I was so ridicula back then. <laughs> oh my God, this is so bad. I was so tired while I was filming this video the night before. I busted an all-nighter. I couldn't sleep. It was so bad. But I still got this video done for you guys. So, hope you guys enjoy. But anywho, this is the wig cap that I'm putting on right now. I know a lot of you guys probably think that I did cut my hair. Well, ta-da! I didn't. It was a wig. So, I don't like to do none of that braid stuff. I thought it looked realistic like that. So... I didn't braid my hair or anything, I just put it up. This wig was very affordable for its quality because I got this over there in LA actually before I came to Oklahoma and it was like from 40 to $60. I really, really liked it. Um, I've strained it, I've curled it and it hasn't failed. It still, it still looks good. I mean, it looks real. Don't you guys think it looks real? Anywho. Next, I'm going in with these bad boys from Claire's. Did you guys ever wear these? I didn't really wear these. I didn't have any bracelets though or anything like the ones that I used to wear. So I decided to get some of these at Claire's and I, th like, I thought they were so cute. <laughs> My little sister used to wear these, but the black ones. I know she's going to hate me for mentioning that in this video if she sees it. So hey, bitch, I'm sorry. <laughs> Love you. Anyways, I'm going to straighten the hair because it's a little bit puffy since I just dyed it the night before. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Oh, by the way, you guys, back then, I wouldn't fully straighten my hair. Like, I would just go through it, like, like over my hair. Like, I wouldn't part it or anything and then start, start straining, like, from the roots. I was so sloppy. I don't know how I would pull this off before. But I mean, hey, I am kind of proud because even if I did a shitty job, or at least I thought I did when I would do my hair like this and get ready, I still met my boyfriend like this back then. And he still fell for me like this, so I got some skills. Speaking of which, when he actually saw me like this, with this hair, his face was like, oh my god. Like, <laughs> he was so surprised. I don't know, I, I know that he liked it, he was all emotional and weird and <laughs> it was cute but so was i because i i remember how i used to look like this like it's crazy because we've known each other for years but yeah guys anyways now i'm gonna be as you guys can see i'm gonna be teasing my hair i used to do a shitty job doing this shit too this is exactly how i would tease my hair back then i know a lot of girls took that doing this too i saw it in school like they would have it all tangled and ugly and i felt all cool because i actually knew how to tease it or at least I thought I did back then. By the way, I did my wing liner off camera. I would not do this much of a good job, but this is 
the best I can do for now. Just try to make it look the way I used to. And I'm going to be using these bad boys. These little extensions that I got at Claire's for like $5.99 I believe. And I wish I knew this trick back then. I didn't know you can hide these under your bow. I would always think like, dang, like these girls dyed their hair. I don't want to mess up my hair and all this stuff. But I didn't know you can do this. So I wish I had these hair skills back then. Like, am I the only one that didn't know how to do this trick? Did you guys know? Let me know in the comments below. And lastly, I get to apply my little bow. And that is it for this look, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video, my little story. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.